Hello dear viewers, now it's time to match answers with 11 12 questions booklets. Yes, dear friends and learners, just I have received the question booklet series of 11 12 SLST English questions booklet, and uh, I immediately after getting the question booklet, I come here to make another video of answer matching session so uh, in my earlier two parts from you know 9 10 slst english questions inadvertently two errors have occurred but in this video i will try to make error less and totally correct to the text and grammars so let's start before I proceed, let me say my opinion that the questions setting proves that the question setters were very careless in setting the questions. They have not properly gone through the syllabus of 11-12 English. And without knowing or without you know assimilating the syllabus they just copy and pasted it yes they have just copy and pasted it from what from upper primary level questions yes dear friends from upper primary level of Madrasa Tet exam that was held in 28th of January 2024 and in upper primary level, there were some out of syllabus questions and out of syllabus were from English 11-12 and these questions are copy pasted. Alright, and the passage you are talking about, the passage is also copy pasted here. Okay, so the first question is, who is promised to marry? Who is promised in marriage to Constance Neville? So, who is promised to marriage in Constance Neville? George Hastings, B number. D number. Which country does the play take place in? <laughs> Which play? Which play? The particular play, the name should be given here. Which play? So, from the options, we can assume only that it is the question is taken from arm from the man so it will be bulgaria okay thing number rhinos father holds what rank in the bulgarian army so major major petkov chan number what does blansali watch use as a weapon against rhina so a cloak a cloak against rhina so against Raina uses cloak. What nationality is Blanchely? So the questions, you know, setting grammatical concord is wrong. What nationality is Blanchely? It's Swiss. Six number. How does Blanchely climb up Raina's window? Up a drain pipe D. Seven. John Galsworthy was born in 1867. 8. It is a question that is Tet. UP Tet. Alright. 28th of January 2024. The question is repeated here. Alright. When did the play Justice publish? 8. 1910 1910 repeat it all right nine what is the pseudonym of the of uh, pseudonym that girls for the took to publish his earlier work john st john it is a very common question john st john it is a pseudonym of john galsworthy all right on the models of whose problem play did john galsworthy write his plays so it is you know Hendrik ibsen Yes, Henrik Ibsen model was first floored 
followed by Henry Arthur Jones and Arthur Pinaro and T.W. Robertson. But the Nor Norwegian, you know, playwright Henry Gibson was the influencer of all trio English writer. All right. Okay. Play Justice is a satire on the B number. You know, the system of legal trials, the system of imprisonment. But the system of imprisonment is mostly appropriate. Imprisonment. 12. Justice is a machine that when someone has once given it the starting push, rolls on of itself. Who says this? It's Mr. From, you know, a C number. The defense counsel, huh? All right. Yes. 13. The quality of mercy is not strained. It is again repeated. And it is again, you know, uh, was a question of 19 syllabus. Who says this in uh, justice? It is Walter Howe. Walter Howe. 14. Justice is best described as problem play. C. 15. Who discovers the forgery of William Falder? Check of 9 pounds. Forged for 90. So it is James Howe. Alright. A number. 16 number. What is the setting of the lagoon? The setting of the lagoon is a Pacific Ocean. Remote island in the Pacific. Malaya. Alright. Pacific. Malaya Peninsula. So Malaya Peninsula is located at the Pacific Island. Okay. Who comes to visit Arthur at the lagoon? His friend Tuan. Arthur. Who is responsible for Arsat's son death? Arsat had not any son, but his wife Diamelin, you know may have conceived a son or a you know uh, not uh, it is predetermined a child a baby that's what so with the death of Damelin his son or child also died so it the question is wrong all right Arshad himself it would be Arshad himself if if it is taken as a if it is taken as a you know uh, analytical answer how does the story the lagoon end with the lagoon returning to its peaceful state d number so lagoon ends at the you know arsat's revengeful mindset and but here the option is not given here it is the with the lagoon returning to its peaceful state what is the theme of the lagoon the theme of the lagoon is the importance of family loyalty b number loyalty a question number what literary device is used in describing the lagoon as a motionless body of water in the heart of the woods it is metaphor when something is compared with something else not using like as then it is called metaphor which literary movement does joseph conrad belong to he belongs to impressionism movement modernism movement a realism movement so realism would be the correct answer real life realistic way of portraying life was the habit of joseph conrad while writing okay Jim reacts strangely to the news of Dela's De hair being sold because it is from 19 syllabus. Number. Brought something second news. Brought something second news. All right. Who was Ilya under whose name Lamb published his essays? Ilya was a colleague, a friend of Charles Lamb's office, you know, East India Company. So C number would be the correct answer. So East India Company, call it. 25. The author L.A. Hill advised a would-be writer to read the newspapers. 
I think it is carefully. Carefully. LA Hill. It is not from 11 12 syllabus. It is from 9 10 syllabus. What is the central theme of O to the West Wind? The central theme of O to the West Wind is the power of the, the transient nature of life. Yes, C number. The transient nature of life. The central theme of the poem, the transient nature. The poet Sally himself compares his life to the spirit of the wild wind. All right. What does the speaker ask the wind to do in the second stanza? So in the second stanza, the second stanza is all about the wind's influences upon the sea. So as his carry his words, bring him peace, grant him strength. Actually, I don't know what would be the answer. I left it blank. All right, you better know it. Uh, but uh, so far, I think that second stanza is not uh, has not contained such you know elements. All right, the line "Make my the liar" suggests that the speaker wants to be a source of inspiration for others. B number. So on twenty nine. All right, the line like withered leaves. To quicken a new birth refers to the wind ability to renew and revitalize. Renew and revitalize. Okay. This line, you know, literally refers to renew and revitalize. What year was the vast wind while Sunset Kule first published? First, it was first published in 1915. See number. First published, then it was republished in 1916. John Galsworthy has treated the theme of law and justice in many of his plays. Why? Because it is a very classic, you know, question. Because he had an intimate friend who was a professional detective. D. Somewhere I read this. Yeah, you know, while uh, you know uh, delivering lecture to the students, because he had an intimate friend. Okay, 32. In which book the poem The Last Night Together was published? Man and Woman. Man and Woman. B. E. Man and Woman. E. Alright. Be careful with E. It will be plural. The oranges are large. The oranges are not sweet. Combine. Single sentence. So single. Not in particular, you know, clauses. So although. B number. Although 33 34 A apple a day keep the daughter away. An apple a day keeps the daughter away. A number. An apple keeps keeps 35. If Rahul fails, either his friends or his brother is to blame. B number is to blame. You know the Error of proximity with either or neither nor. Nearest noun will be taken as subject. All right. According to Anna, what is the first step in effective time management? All right. So these questions have come from a passage, and from what passage? MSc has done a blunder mistake by you know copy pasting this type of questions you know you you will copy past definitely you can copy past but you please at least revised the question after making copy past all right this is a passage taken from is asked while exam TET exam held in 28th of january upper primary for arabic subjects all right so where you can see the passage in in the screen uh, i bring this passage from the january's question booklet of which i had made a video ami tomader ekta voice sunachi sei voice ta tumra sunbe eta 
देखो मद्रासा सार्विस कमिशन फाइव टू एट पर्त जो परीक्षा होती आठाश जानुर तर ही भिडियो बनीान टोटाली मैसेज उठिए दिए So, you have heard it. <laughs> Mother Service Commission has done a blunder mistake. According to Anna, what is the first step in effective time management? I again here I reiterates and trying to give the correct answers based on the passage given in the twenty eighth January TET booklet. All right. According to what is the first step in effective time management? Creating a to do list. P number. To do list. You can see in your screen. All right, the passage. How does Anna suggest organizing tasks on a to do list based on urgency and importance? B. Based on urgency and importance. Okay, thirty eight. Thirty eight. What does Anna emphasize about delegating task? It allows for focused work on important task. C number. It allows on focused. Thirty nine. All right. According to Anna, what is the benefit of taking breaks? It rejuvenates and the mind and enhances productivity. C. It rejuvenates. Okay, forty. What does Anna say about saying no? So it is essential to set boundaries. See, essential to set boundaries. Forty one. How does Anna describe effective time management? So Anna describe effective time management as a continuous learning process. B number. Continuous. Learning process. Forty two. According to the passage, what happened when you overcommit? You when you overcommit, you burn out. B number. Burn out. Forty three. What does Anna recommend individuals do as circumstances change? So Anna recommend that adapt their approach to managing time. D. Adapt. Managing time. Forty-four. The last question of the session. Fill in the blank with appropriate selection of the word. Okay. Forty-three. From this section, from the you know, unseen part, we sum up here, and uh, the next rest of the questions will be analyzed, will be discussed in the next video. Till then. keep subscribe my channel thank you